Man, it was fun to get up back out there in, uh, in August and get going. It was good. It was good go. I think our defense has gotten uh, really good and, you know, the back and forth, going back and forth has been good. And, you know, having a summer to operate with our guys has made an unbelievable difference from coming out here last year, being away from, from them for like seven or eight months, you know. So you can tell how much more polish the guys have coming out here and playing ball together, yeah. What are you looking for when helping Coach DeBoer figure out the depth chart and, and kind of lining these guys up? So, Josh, that's a good question. I mean, really, it starts with um, the, the guy's ability to execute the offense, right? And so we track mental errors as an offense and how many times a guy's not executing the assignment that we're asking him to assign. That's number one. You gotta be able to get out there and get lined up and play. The second thing is technical execution. So uh, are they doing it the way we're teaching them to do it on a consistent basis? No, one, no one's perfect at it, but are they getting better each day at doing it? And then the third thing for skill guys is production. You know, I mean, production matters. It's really important that when you're in the game, you're able to make plays. Um, and so for at least the tight end room, that's number three, because we got to trust you first that you're going to be able to execute the things. And then the third thing is how productive are you? How, how many plays you're making uh, when we're out here practicing? And in that room, I'd, I'd imagine it's got to be great having a guy like Juan back. Oh, my God. I mean, Juan's one of the smartest football players I've ever gotten to coach. Uh, he's unbelievably tough. Uh, you know, when he when he tore his ACL and MCL against Hawaii last year, he wa uh, he after the game he stayed on the sideline the whole game and then walked himself up that ramp uh, into the training room before he knew what the complete diagnosis was. But he's one of the smartest and toughest guys I've ever gotten to coach, and he definitely is a senior. It's everything you wish he, a, a senior in your room would be because he makes every other guy in the room better for sure just by his example. So. Man, I love that guy. I'm really happy he's back, yeah. Who are some of the other guys kind of impressing you early on? I know so, it's only been a week. Yeah, no, um, I mean, from in the tight end room, we got yeah. a great situation going because um, Juan was out all spring, and so Ray Powells and Rory Hansen and Jared Torres all got a chance to take all of the spring reps. And, and really, to be honest, you know, Juan didn't really need those reps, and those guys did. So um, Ray's really had a great two days going. Rory's kind of tweaked his hamstring, so he's been out for, for a little bit, but uh, he's changed his body and looks really good right now. And then Torres is kind of the old steady Eddie, too. I mean, he's been here the longest out of anybody in my room because uh, Tre or, uh, Juan and, uh, and Ray are both JC guys, you know, so he's actually been in the room the longest, and he's, he's pretty reliable as well. Real quick, okay. But, uh, we talk about the experience, but you've also got some impressive youth yeah, in this room. Yeah, no question. Um, walk me through, were you involved in the recruiting process of Trey Watson? And, and yeah. Kind of what does he bring to this team? Yeah, you know, Trey, Trey's an interesting one because he's been all over. His dad was in the military, so he grew up in L.A. And then he's actually lived in Japan. He's lived in uh, New Mexico for the last few years, but kind of been all over. And you watch him, I mean, as a junior, he was the male athlete of the state of New Mexico as a junior. You know, he's a great basketball player, played wide receiver in high school, so he's a little bit of a projection in COVID year. It's tough to have a projection that you don't get to meet in person, but getting to know him and his family, you just saw that he was wired the right way. You know, in high school, his, his high school uh, fo football team won a state championship and his basketball team won a state championship, and he was the best player on, on both teams. You know, so you kind of knew he was going to be a guy, and he's come in and unbelievably athletic. He was about 205 his senior year in high school, and he came in here at about 230. That just shows you his commitment to himself to come in here and get ready to play tight end. And it's shown up in the room. I mean, he's going to be a really, really special player, I think, you know, coming down the pipe. I mean, I'm really excited about him. So. Last question for me, you guys got the scrimmage on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we just talked to Coach DeVore about what he's looking for, but what are you specifically looking for from your position? Yeah, well, we talk about it all the time. I mean, we've got, and you know, anytime people are talking about our offense, they talk about Jake Hayner, they talk about our running backs, and they talk about our wide receivers. You know, then like nobody really talks about the tight ends. And so what do we have to do with as many good players as we have on offense? What's our role as a tight end position? And that's to be physical. We've got to add a physical element to this offense that only comes through us. You know what I mean? Because we got really good receivers that can go catch the ball. 
and I want us to make plays and catch the ball, but we have to be physical to be on the field and contribute. So it's all about physicality and getting raising that level when we're out there for sure. I thought that was my last question, but does it open up that physicality and all those playmakers all around the field? Does that open up maybe some opportunities for your guys to maybe kind of surprise? Absolutely, teams? absolutely. I mean, a hundred percent. I mean, when the, the the tight end is this offense is the ultimate offense to be a tight end in because anything that the receivers do, we can ease, very easily move around and put a tight end there. But then you get into the box and add that element of being able to be a pass protector and being able, able to be a run blocker. And now you start getting matchups with maybe defenders that are more run stopping defenders that we have a huge athletic advantage on. So um, 100%, if we're able to be physical, then the production comes as a result. You know, the, the production doesn't come on the front end, it comes on the back end. So, yeah, absolutely. Very good. Full pads. Uh, yeah, full pads. It's all good. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in full pads since the last Hawaii game because of my injury, but it felt good. Were there kind of emotions putting them back on or what? Uh, just grateful, you know. Yeah, with the injury like that, you never know how you're going to feel coming back, but it felt good being one of the guys again. Walk me through the, the kind of recovery process, and I would imagine mental. Yeah. Every day that you went through. Yeah, so that was my first really injury. I've never really broken a bone or nothing. So the first couple of weeks, it was it was tough. It was my first surgery. Uh, definitely learned a lot about patience and stuff, especially with rehab. I learned that to take rehab serious. Um, I was doing rehab every single day. I just attacked rehab the same way I try to attack a practice, you know. Um, luckily, we have really good trainers, so they helped me out. Um, it was good, yeah, but definitely taught me a lot about patience. What, uh, when you, you know, you back healthy and you, we know what you bring to this offense, when you look around the rest of the room, what, is, what do you and some of the guys bring? Um, I mean, I like to think of myself as a, a, the, one of the most physical players on the team. But I also think now it's us being a lot of like veteran guys, showing the young guys how to do it the right way and, you know, being a good role model for them, show them how to do things right. You know, we got, we got a lot of freshmen coming in, a lot of good freshmen tight ends too. So just show them the ropes, I guess. We, in, uh, we talk about this offense, but you think Painter, Rivers, and then the receivers get the first mention. Do you guys yeah. feel overlooked in uh, the offensive regard? Uh, not overlooked because those guys are great. I mean, there's there's no hiding the fact that the wide receiver room is crazy good. Hayner's crazy good. I mean, Ronnie, everybody knows about Ronnie. So I just we just want to put ourselves on the same level as them. You know, right now we're just trying to help out the offense as much as we can in any way we can. If that means blocking on the backside of a zone play, but um, yeah, we just want to show people that we're a good, we're a meaningful part of this offense as well. Yeah. And coach. Mm -hmm. How much of that is a mindset versus a uh, physical nature? I mean, I think it's all mindset, to be honest. Uh, my, my way of getting here was actually being physical. You know, I'm, I'm only 6'2 as a tight end. So uh, physicality is mostly what I got. So I think that's all mindset, just making sure that whoever you're going against, you're not going to be the one losing. The guy you're blocking is not going to make the tackle. I think it's just all that mindset, not wanting to lose right. for your teammate for you, for your pride. Yeah. Finally, you talked about some of the young guys as being an example. One of those is Trey Watson, I imagine. Mm -hmm. What is he bringing to this offense when he gets the chance? Uh, he's, he's an athlete, first of all. He played wide receiver in high school, so, you know, he, he knows all the wide receiver stuff, the stuff that <laughs> I didn't really know that much. But he's good, and he's uh, really coachable. So he's learning all the, all the footwork on the blocking stuff. I mean, he takes practice serious he's in the he's in the playbook you don't you don't see him mess up a play very often which is I know I can't say that when I first came in it was it was tough uh learning any playbook but you can tell that he's really dialed in so it's, it's going to be a bright future with him what has he taught you from receiving like oh man he's got wiggle you can't teach that <laughs> no no you said he, you said uh he's taught you some things with receiving oh just you know his his route tree is good, it's how smooth he is in his routes. That's that's mostly at the route stuff, you know, because me being a little bigger, uh, bulkier tight end guy, I don't, I'm not really the most per the most ideal perfect person to be in the slot, but I mean, Trey, he, he's got the routes like a 
just like any of the other wide receivers. Just had a bigger body. Finally, Saturday's first scrimmage. How much are you looking forward to just kind of going? Good, you know. I, I personally love when we're in full pads. You know, all the helmets and shell stuff is cool. Shells is cool. Helmets, that's not really for me. But anytime we can bang, that's that's what I like. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you.